Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology gain times 2, 3, and now 5. Um, as for that uh, Supreme Screen um, or Screen Paint, uh, that is going to be, or su sorry, Superior Screen Paint, that is going to be pushed back a little bit because keep in mind I want to do it on a larger scale. So I'm going to be doing less demonstrations on that because do, and, and concentrating more on the technology we have now, just showing you how amazing our stuff is. Now keep in mind, uh, we were talking about a portable, a pre-coated portable screen. That is what I was doing the demonstrations in. That screen was frozen, stuck in a solid block of ice, and, and broken out with, and I broke it out with a hammer. Stuck it in the oven around 350 degrees, and stuck it out in the rain with a garden hose attached to it. I'll post all those videos at the bottom. Just showing you how amazing this technology is. Now keep in mind, these screens are coated with a special formula which we developed. That allows the screen to take on a lot of punishment without cracking or peeling. If you're using this for basically backyard events, if you're using this for uh, um, um, expos or whatever you're going to be using it for, it's a portable screen with built-in grommets and allows you to make it, take it anywhere you want. You can fold it, roll it, it's up to you. Now, if you get wrinkles that may occur into the back of the screen, I suggest you use an iron on a warm cycle. Do not paint the side of the screen that's painted. You will burn your screen. Paint the opposite side. Warm, gentle cycle. Now, let me show you where my projector is sitting back. There's a measuring tape way over there. We're going to come over here and show you that we are at 14 feet and some change back from the screen. Uh, the projector I found out today, this one in particular one I'm using, is uh, was manufactured in 2007, and it was actually discontinued in 2009. That's why it doesn't have an HDMI port on the back of it. That's the USB port right there. So I had to take a converter that I got off Amazon. Basically, it takes a VGA and converts into an HDMI so I can run my audio and run my Chromecast to the back of it. So, fully lit environment, as you can see, plenty of light in the environment, as it should be, 14 feet back on a 120 inch customer screen. So, let's begin. Now the screen has built-in grommets, which means it gives you the ability to actually string it up to a frame if you have a frame for grommets. It's fully weatherproof. Uh, like I said, I'll post those links at the bottom of me freezing the screen first before putting it, I've soaked it in water, stuck it in the deep freezer, stuck it inside of a pot, submerged in water, which was actually encased halfway into a block of ice, which had to be broken out with a hammer. Uh, took the screen and stuck it in the oven around 350 degrees and then stuck it outside in the rain with a garden hose attached to it. Now the biggest sizes that we make and the pre-coated screen is 120 and 169 which you're seeing right here. This is coated with, uh, keep in mind with this, this uh, these pre-coated screens, 100 inch, 120 and 169, they come with a four screen paint option, which means you can have it in the Gamer, you can have it in the Eclipse Cinema Black, which is a black screen I have upstairs. You can have this in the um, uh, Silver Eclipse, which is that dark uh, gray, or you can have it in the high grade Professional Silver, which is fantastic for those of you using short though projectors. And like I said, this is a pre-coated surface, which means you do not have to paint. It's also coated with a special formula that we add on to it that allows the screen to be able to endure a lot of elements. Stand back here and show you. And this is 720p XGA. My projector's cost was around $90 on eBay. Come over here and show you how I got the screen hung up. I just have screws in my walls. I mean, this is a work wall anyway, so show you the angle. Top to bottom, all the lights are hitting the screen. So you have lights in the environment. These are floodlights. These aren't everyday lights. These are actual floodlights at 14 feet. Back up here, man, I got a little tight squeeze over here. I don't want to hit anything and trip and break my neck. A little tight squeeze in there. And look at that. Now keep in mind, we're showing off a screen that had ambient light rejection technology gain times five. This is only using two. 
Let me show you how powerful our game technology is. This is only two. Eclipse Cinemas only have technology game times two. And look at this, footed environment. Let's give you an idea how far that projector is sitting back. I'm gonna come over here and hit my lights just for a minute. I'll take the back of this off here and just drop the lights for a minute. All right, let me go back over. I wanna show you what the screen looks like with the lights out on a 720p projector. Now, in case y'all, this customer is gonna be using his screen and the light with the lights out, this is what he's gonna get. Keep in mind, no 1080p. No 4K. This is a 720p projector that was manufactured in 07. And this is using our Eclipse Cinema Screen Paint. I know we've done a lot of advertising on that, on that new technology, but keep in mind, even the technology we have now on our website is more than outstanding. All right, so put the lights back on. All right. It's back over. All right. Stand back here because I don't want to trip over my stuff I have over here. It's a bit of a tight squeeze because I have the big screen now. I had to take the big screen down. But like I said, the biggest sizes we do will be the 120 inch, that's the biggest screen we designed, which we have right here. Um, smallest, which I'm working on, maybe 74 to 84, which I'm working on that also too. And but another screen we have is 100 inch. Now these are available on our website now. They come with free worldwide shipping. Like I said, it comes with a four color option and performance option when it comes with screen paint. Now, before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from a don't mess up right there. I'm sorry. I'm Kenneth Bird from a Luminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology game time two, three, and five. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. This is our customer's 120 and 169 pre-coated ambient light rejection uh, screen. And he is using, he actually chose our Eclipse Cinema, which is the black screen paint. Keep in mind, my screen upstairs in my living room sits back around 14 feet. But that projector I have upstairs is 1080p.
I'm going to show you something really quick. Come over here. There you go. I had to refresh the feed for a minute. Mind you, I'm working in the basement. Even though I got a network set up over there for working in the basement, from time to time I have a little slowdown. So I had to reset that real quick. Let's come over here real quick. Do some of this with the lights out. Like I said, 720p projector, manufactured in in 2007. No 4K. And this is on our Eclipse Cinema. And this is using a uh, ambient light rejection technology gain times two. He is going to really enjoy this screen. Let me come over here real quick. So I don't kill myself. <laughs> so make sure I don't bump into anything down here. Do a couple of these videos here for you. Have your fellow. Go back a little bit on that. The video started ahead of time. There we go. It's so very easy to do demonstrations with the lights out. It's very easy to do. Got to make it a challenge for me, so. There we go. Put our lights back on. to bump into my projector. Like I said, very narrow spot to move back on. I don't want to hit anything. I said 14 feet back, so we're way go back a little farther back. We're sitting way back there. That's where my projector sits. And these are fantastic screens. You're doing expo, church events, whatever you're doing. This is a fantastic screen. Portable, 
fold it up, roll it up, you're done, that's it. Pre-coated, you don't have to worry about painting it, we do all the work on our end. And then it's coated with a special formula that allows the screen to be able to take on a lot of wear and tear and punishment with outdoor elements. I put a little game in there. I always try to sneak a little game in there. Take a big portable built in grommets. Gotta do a little bit here and there. We ran out of time on my on my feet. Let's go back. A little bit more. I ran a little bit on my feed. Let me see. Alright, sorry about that. I kind of ran out on my feed. That projector, there we go. I don't have a lot of room to move around. Lights back on. Look how beautiful that looks. These are fantastic screens. You're going to be taking them outside. You want to do a little gaming outside with your friends? This is a fantastic screen to have. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. The Illuminous Ambient Light Rejection Portable Projection Screens are available on our website now. We have them in sizes in 100 inch to 120 inch. We can ship these to you anywhere in the world for free. Thank you for your time and God bless. As I said before, any wrinkles that may occur to the screens can be easily removed out on the opposite side of the screen with the iron and warm gentle cycle. Like I said, best way to have the ultimate screen without worrying about painting. And keep in mind, this technology is only ambient light rejection times two. That's ambient light rejection times three. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I've got much more work to do and I got orders to take care of today. Thank you for your time and God bless.